major title matches are on tap for this weekend. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Friday, February 26, 2021. This update is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Results from Thursday's NXT UK and New Japan's Road to Castle Attack show are straight ahead in this update. But first, we do have some sad news to report. Joseph Hudson, better known to wrestling fans as Josephus and later the question mark in the NWA, has died. NWA President Billy Corgan was first to share the news, saying Hudson, quote, died suddenly from an as yet undiagnosed medical issue, end quote. Hudson leaves behind a young son. Fans are already rallying to donate to a trust fund for him. AEW. The biggest episode in the history of New Japan Strong is being overshadowed by multiple reports that Marty Skrull was in attendance for the tapings of Strong late last month. Skrull parted ways with Ring of Honor late last year, months after a speaking out accusation led to Skrull admitting to a sexual encounter with a 16-year-old girl back in 2015. Getting back to tonight's episode of Strong, the main event is the big showdown for the IWGP United States Championship, John Moxley defending against Kenta. Also on tonight's show, Chris Dickinson versus Bren Narita. Back in Japan, a title change on Thursday's Road to Castle Attack show, El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru beat El Phantasmo and Taiji Ishimori to win the junior tag titles. The pivotal moment was ELP accidentally hitting his own partner with his sudden death superkick. Thursday's show opened with Hiromu Takahashi formally relinquishing the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. He's out for the next six months with a torn pectoral muscle. New Japan announced a rare three-way match for the vacant title, El Phantasmo vs. El Desperado vs. Bushi. That'll be at the second big Castle Attack show on Sunday. Saturday's Castle Attack show will have Kazuchika Okada vs. Evil and Jay White vs. Tomohiro Ishii. One more note from New Japan. Early Friday, New Japan and Mexico's CMLL promotion issued a joint statement reaffirming their business partnership. Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor's weekend TV is going to be a big one. Shane Taylor gets his shot at Roosh and the ROH World Championship. Taylor just won the ROH six-man titles on last weekend's episode. This weekend's show also has a match for the ROH tag titles. Jay Lethal and Jonathan Gresham defending against Dragon Lee and Kenny King. ROH also made headlines Friday, announcing the signing of EC3. He just returned to ROH TV on last weekend's episode. WWE. There are new NXT UK Tag Team Champions. Pretty Deadly, Lewis Howley and Sam Stoker ended the 500-plus day reign of Gallus on Thursday's episode. Also on that show, Zaya Brookside beat Nina Samuels. As a result, Samuels is now Brookside's personal assistant for a month. And Bailey Matthews, son of William Regal, made his NXT UK debut, taking a loss against Tyler Bate. As of Thursday night, WWE has yet to announce really anything of substance for tonight's SmackDown. Progress Wrestling and Paul Robinson parted ways on Thursday. Progress came under fire after fans learned Robinson was backstage at recent tapings. Robinson was named in a speaking out accusation over the summer. Robinson was holding the Progress Proteus title, which is now vacated. That's just for wrestling news for Friday, February 26th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. Please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.